I was born in Berkeley, um, raised in San Pablo and also in Albany, California. I have a lot of um, roots in South America, but also very much an East Bay kid. My parents fled the, um, the dictatorships of Pinochet and Videla in Chile and Argentina. Once those dictatorships ended, like I was able to go with my family to their home countries. Um, and so a lot of my childhood memories of those places are really precious to me. My great-grandfather was a fisherman and um, you know my family there is very working class. They're very kind of salt of the earth people. Um, so yeah, like that going to Chile at a very young age was super important for me to have that connection to my culture. My father um, majored in agricultural engineering in the University of Chile in Arica, which is like in the far north in the very arid desert of Chile. So coming to America, um, despite having that degree, he wasn't able to actually work in that for almost 20 years. He was a waiter, but he did work a little bit with the UC um, Berkeley with uh, Professor Altieri um, in, at the Guild Tract. And so some of my earliest memories are of running around cornfields and running around uh, tomato fields um, while they were doing integrative pest management research with ladybird beetles um, and aphids and seeing how they could reduce the amount of pesticide use in agricultural settings. Um, and so, yeah, literally sitting on my father's lap looking at ladybird beetles eating aphids and, um, you know, so that was like really formative in terms of how I saw, like, the problems that happen in agriculture or in nature and, and how there are natural solutions to everything. I was always stuck in the, like, um, just always scrambling for housing. Like, I moved 15 times in five years and um, just could never find a place to call home. And it was really tough because, you know, for like, you can't build a five year plan when you're worried about what's going to happen the next two months, six months. It feels really. It feels really hard when you're trying to survive, um, you know, paycheck to paycheck and not able to, to do the things that your soul and your heart are calling for. Um, and, you know, I think it's, it can be really easy to tell somebody to follow your dreams, but when, you know, they're working a nine to five job uh, for minimum wage um, and it's just not cutting it, like you have to, you have to, kind of forego some of those things sometimes. I do feel like because I haven't been able to really root into any stable ground, um, it's definitely stunted me in some ways, but it's also caused me to grow in other ways, you know. Um, I think I've really diversified my skill set because of that inability to create kind of the most fundamental stability. Like I've had to, you know, I have so many different skills I can, you know, I do like health education and sex education. I'm, you know, I know a lot about plants. I used to do landscaping. I, you know, I have like a bunch of different skills to try and build that stability. Not having stability in my immediate home environment has definitely caused growth in other areas. Within a year, I'll be able to transfer, and I'm hoping to transfer to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. Um, I'd like to major in their soil and environmental science um, degree until doing the summer systematics internship. Like I didn't think about, you know, graduate programs. I didn't think PhD level stuff would be in my realm of possibilities. I can I can see myself doing that now. Um, I can see a path towards that. I'm not afraid of it. And at this point, like I I feel like it's all within reach finally.